All right, y'all, Sean, Kayak Angler Outdoors. This is going to be a two-part video. Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up to the Smoky Mountain herbal dip that I did, uh, I believe that was on Monday. But first up, I just got back from fishing. Um, I went to Farrington Lake over in, uh, I guess it's East Brunswick. I'm not really sure. I think it's East Brunswick. Uh, I met my... Uh, a couple buddies over there. Uh, my buddy Ralph was in a boat. We had a 16 foot uh, or 14 foot uh, aluminum V hole. And my other buddy John, the big Grabowski, he was in his uh, native Titan 14.5. And I, of course, had my uh, native Slayer 13 Propel. I uh, got on the water about 6 30, uh, fished until about 10 to 4. Yep, long day. But I must have caught damn near 20 fish. I started the day off with the fly rod. I was fishing with a popper. Uh, I got a bunch of hits, but I couldn't connect. Switched over to some other lures, inline spinner, a uh, little beetle spin. Um, what else did I use? Uh, swim baits, nothing. Decided to go back to the fly rod and I found a small fly in my box I uh, don't know where it came from don't even know what it's called figured I'd try that and man I'm telling you at least 20 a lot of small ones I mean really really small um, little bass I caught a largemouth bass about this big no lie smallest fish smallest largemouth bass I ever caught um, caught I think it was about six bass, a uh, whole boatload of crappies, uh, perch, and a whole bunch of sunnies, uh, all on the fly. Um, it, all in all, it was, a, it was a really good day. But yeah, that's what I did today uh, from about 6.30 in the morning till 10 to 4. So yeah, long day. All right, anyway, on to part two of this video. Um, the update on the Smoky Mountain uh, smokeless tobacco the herbal snuff um i don't know if you hear my dog in the background she's got to go out hang on sugar i'll be done in a few minutes um <laughs> i already had the peach i did this the other night i told you all it was okay it's pretty good um in fact the guy i work with tried it and he said the same thing was pretty good i did the classic the classic is really good. In my opinion, uh, reminds me a lot of Copenhagen Straight. Um, after a while, actually, it also has like a sort of barbecue taste, if you will. In fact, I was at work and I took a pinch out and packed the lip. And one of the guys I work with said it actually smelled like somebody's barbecue in somewhere. Turns out it was this. So apparently it smells like a little like barbecue as well. Um, the, uh, cherry, I tried the cherry, the cherry's good, this reminds me of, I don't even know if they still make them anymore, when I was a kid and I was sick, had a cough or whatever, my mom used to give me these, uh, like, almost, like, soft, uh, cough drops, I know there was, uh, Luden's, uh, Smith Brothers, and another brand, I don't remember, but anyway, it reminded me a lot of those, uh, old cherry cough drops. Not bad, not bad. I would definitely get this, the, this and definitely the uh, classic. I would definitely get these two again. Now, y'all might remember me telling you that these smelled like Vicks Vapor Rub. These are the wintergreen pouches. Let me tell you about these things. Remember I told you they look dry? Lost one. Remember I told you they look dry? These suck. The only way I can describe it, they suck. Um, they smell really, really strong. They have no taste whatsoever. No taste. And they did not juice up at all. If you're looking for the feeling of having something in your lip, without the taste, without spitting, without enjoying it, these are for you. Me? Nah. Not for me. Nope. Hang on, let me get my knife out because I haven't tried the loose wintergreen yet. So I'm going to have to crack this with a knife because the, like I guess saying in the other video, the other regular dip, stick your, your fingernail 
under the cap and you can cut it with your fingers but this is a different kind of label so just get this with the knife and then just like the last time I'm trying to open a can without slitting my finger so let's see if we can do it there we go now, this smells even though it's winter green like the pouches it smells a lot better you guys will look at that. There it is. That's the loose, the loose one of green. The thing with this, though, with the herbal dip, uh, it packs pretty good when you first put it in. I like to keep it dip in for like an hour, hour and a half. If the flavor is still there, it's still juicing up good, more than that. But after a while, half hour, 45 minutes, this tends to fall apart a lot in the mouth. Um, doesn't stay together. It stays together in the beginning like dip, but after a while, it just doesn't seem to stay together. So let's get a, a pinch of this. There we go. Pop this in. Um, that's some flavor. Other than I like the pouches. Actually, hmm, this is really good. This is really good. Wow, I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, the other thing I didn't do in the last video is I didn't tell you that as the ingredients. Uh, it's really small print. I'm going to do my best here. Um, like I said, it's all food-grade ingredients. No tobacco, no nicotine. Totally safe for you. Uh, let's see, we got molasses. Let me show you none of my beard. Are you need my beard? No, I don't think so. If I do, let me know. Uh, we got molasses, corn soap, water, glycerine, uh, kudu root. I don't know what the hell that is. Salt, natural artificial flavorings, <laughs> sodium bicarbonate, propylene glycol, and some dyes, blue 2, red 40, yellow 6. Now, with the with the uh, classic and the wintergreen, there is cayenne powder. So, it gives you a little bit of that, that sting on your lip. Not a lot, but you taste it more with the classic than you do with the... You can actually... I can pick out, pick out the cayenne in this a little bit. This, I'm not really picking it up, but I'm getting a little bit of a burn. But, wow, this, yeah, this is, this is really good. I like this a lot. This, I'll definitely be getting this again. Screw those pouches, man. This is really good. Anyway, that's it. Smoky Mountain Part 2. Uh, I'll definitely be getting the Classic again. I'll definitely be getting the Wintergreen again. Probably the Cherry again. The Peach, although I did like the Peach, I'm not sure I'll get this one again. Um, actually, I still have at least a half a can here left, but definitely the wintergreen and the classic. So far, these are my two favorites. Two thumbs up for those. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, this is the first of my three days off for Labor Day weekend. I probably won't be posting this video until tomorrow, so actually, now it's the second day of my three days off. Although it's really the first, but anyway, you guys understand. That's it. Uh, probably won't be going fishing tomorrow. I've got a barbecue to go to. I'm going to try to get out Monday. If I do, I'll do another video. And, uh, oh yeah! I got a computer. Well, I don't have it yet. It's coming. I should get a Tuesday. So I can go back to editing videos. Make them funner. 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 More fun. Nicer. Better. Anyway, I can actually... I can actually take videos of me fishing catching fish to show you all the fish instead of just telling you about them because I know a lot of people say no pics didn't happen well it happened I know it happened damn near 20 fish all small though but anyway I'm gonna get out of here uh, I gotta go take a shower get a cup of coffee I'm freaking tired so there you go my fishing recap Smoky Mountain part 2 hope you guys enjoyed it as always like this video subscribe if you haven't 
and tell your friends about my channel. And until next time, tight lines, happy dipping, and see y'all in order. Later, guys.